Best Practices Adopt the following best practices to make sure you get the most bang for your buck from Instagram. Document your efforts. Make sure you write down what you're doing. This way, you can have a written record. You can also conduct more experiments. You'd be surprised as to how many awesome ideas you come up with. Unfortunately, if you keep coming back to the same failed idea over and over again, you're basically just chasing your tail. Document your efforts so you can run experiments and then fail quickly. This way, you can weed out bad ideas as soon as possible so you can focus on the ones that actually produce success. Focus on numbers. Don't go with your gut feeling. Focus on what the actual statistics of your results are. Focus on numbers because numbers do not lie. Start with influencers using a slow and low strategy. I know I've said this before in the section about influencers. However, this is so important that it is worth repeating. Contact as many influencers as possible, but pay them a low rate. The ones who take you up on your offer and run your ads will then weed themselves out. How? Well, each ad you run has a custom code or discount code or redemption code. You will be able to see which ones actually produce results. You then come back to those people, pay them more, so they can scale up your campaign. They obviously are real and they're credible enough with their followers for them to drive actual sales. Optimize using an elemental approach. I've already discussed this in video 9, but you have to understand that you have to optimize going from element to element. This increases the chances that you won't be chasing your tail. This reduces the chance of repeating the same mistake over and over again. Use an elemental approach so you can increase your ad campaign's overall effectiveness.